Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, back with a mail day video today. Um, just had like a week long hiatus from YouTube. Um, so for the last day or two, um, really been enjoying catching up on everyone's videos from the last week. Um, and uh, just quickly wanted to congratulate all the uh, newly elected members of the YouTube Baseball Card Hall of Fame. I uh, really enjoyed seeing everyone's uh, nomination uh, videos and uh, happy to say that I uh, actually voted for quite a few of the uh, new inductees and uh, also I'm looking forward to checking out some channels that I was not previously aware of. Um, so I really enjoyed that process and Baseball Collector uh, you did a great job running that and um, uh, you know let's uh, continue it uh, next year. Um, so I have a uh, one package mail day today. There's two items in this package. Uh, excuse my dog barking there in the background, but um, this was a seven day auction that started about two weeks ago. Um, and when I saw this item, you know, I'm, like a lot of you, I imagine I'm constantly looking for stuff on eBay. And um, when I saw this, I just I just absolutely knew that I had to have this. Um, so I was, you know, I guess I say it in all my videos that I'm excited to open this and see, but, but this piece or these two pieces in here really for me, um, are exciting. And I think if you've seen my previous videos, as soon as I open this up, you'll see, uh, how perfectly these fit in my collection. Um, but anyhow, so when the auction, uh, started about two weeks ago, I bid, uh, and then left on a trip. Uh, for a week, I uh, go every year um, hunting with my friends in Georgia, and I live in Virginia. Um, so for the week, I had really uh, not a lot of access to the internet. I was able to kind of periodically check in and see how the auction was going. But as the auction was wrapping up last Thursday night, I think it ended at 7, um, I was... Uh, out in the woods um, in the pitch black uh, by myself um, spread out my, my buddies and I spread out over this huge property hunting and um, kind of stopped what I was doing and amazingly was able to get a cell phone signal and kind of sat down and uh, watched the uh, last seconds tick away in this auction um, and uh, thankfully I won so um, Kind of an odd uh, place to, uh, to, you know, see the end of the auction. Uh, but anyhow, um, let's uh, rip into this uh, package and uh, see what we got here. Actually, uh, when I bid, I I ended up getting these. Uh, these are two postcards that I'm going to show you, um, and the. What I was able to get these for, I was actually uh, very uh, happy with the price. I was willing to spend quite a bit more than this ended up going for, these two postcards. Um, and postcards, vintage postcards may not be everyone's cup of tea, but uh, these really, for me, are very cool. Um, get that out here. All right. So, what we have here... Two postcards. We're going to start with this one, save the best one for last. And this postcard um, on the front, it's a picture of Steel Tower on Hot Springs Mountain. It says 100, 165 feet high, 120 mile view, elevator service, Hot Springs, Arkansas. So why would I want a postcard of that from Hot Springs, Arkansas? On the back, we see that this is postmarked uh, from Hot Springs, uh, Arkansas, March 16th, 1917. And you'll notice there that the postcard was sent to none, none other than Nuff Said McGreevy, um, who I've talked about in uh, several of my other videos. And um, of course, that's the name of my channel. And the postcard was sent by someone named Joe Burns, who is a documented uh, member of the Royal Rooters, which was the Red Sox fan club that was led by Nuff Said McGreevy um, in the uh, early part of the 20th century. Um, and it says here, the Sox are looking fine. Regards from Joe Burns, Hot Springs, Arkansas. So, uh, you know, a postcard that was owned by Nuff Said McGreevy. Uh, for me, that is just really cool. 
Um, but this is not the reason why I bid on this auction. I probably would have bid on this, but what I really wanted was this next one here. And this is a postcard of the Eastman Hotel, Hot Springs, Arkansas. And in the teens, um, the Red Sox would stay at the Eastman Hotel uh, during spring training um, when they were in Hot Springs. This postcard here also made out to Nuff said McGreevy. This one is postmarked from Hot Springs, Arkansas, March 21, 1914. And it's the content of the writing that really, uh, to me, um, is just amazing. And, you know, this is a true piece of baseball history. I'll explain uh, in a second uh, who sent this. But it says, Hot Springs, March 21. It says, Dear Mr. McGreevy, sorry you are not here with us. The boys often speak of you. I got your postal this a.m. Everyone feeling fine and we are going for the pennant from the start. Sincerely yours, Joe Lannon. And Joe Lannon, um, in 1914, was the owner of the Red Sox. Um, he became a partial owner in 1913, uh, became the sole owner in 1914. And um, he was the one who purchased the rights to bring Babe Ruth to Boston. Um, you know, and then, uh, of course, uh, the Red Sox won the World Series in 1915 and in 1916. Um, he sold the Red Sox to Harry Frizee in 1917. And, uh, of course, Harry Frizee is the one who sold Babe Ruth to the Yankees, and uh, the rest is history. But, um, you know, for me, a postcard that was sent from the owner of the Red Sox to Nuff said McGreevy with this amazing baseball content on the back um, saying that we are going for the pennant from the start. Uh, just absolutely love this. So happy to add this to my collection. Um, so that's it for today. Um, happy to be, be back and catching up on everyone's videos and, uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Um, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch up with you guys soon. Bye.